Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Today, we're taking a look at all the brand new Marvel Legends reveals, courtesy of Dan, Dwight, and Ryan over on the Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel. They talked about some upcoming releases, some we have known about and some we did not. And they're all fairly interesting. I think there's a couple really cool ones and there's other ones I'm like, well, I need to... I need to get my Marvel encyclopedia out to really understand who these are. But I will say before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider doing so. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, everything and anything you could possibly need. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now to jump right into it, we went over the Marvel Legends 3.75 inch figures that, uh, a certain YouTube uh, Instagram person may have revealed a Fantastic Four. Huh? Nod, nod, wink, wink. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was a blast, actually. I was really appreciative of that. But these will be hitting, of course, Target stores first, March, and then everywhere else soon after, around April, May of that thing. Ten bucks each, first wave. Captain America, Hulk, Spider Man. Carol Danvers, you know, Warbird, I guess you could say, Magneto, and then, of course, the Human Torch. That's good. That one gets a personal Toysh's stamp of approval. Heading over to Walgreens, continuing the Cosmic Powers lineup for this year. Fantastic Four we've seen before, and now we're doing the whole Cosmic lineup. So Silver Surfer just started hitting online on Walgreens.com. If you missed him, I'm sure he will go back up eventually, and yeah, he hasn't hit stores just yet. Mine arrived. He's an okay figure. I'm going to be quite honest with you. He's just a simple repaint. He comes with a bunch of accessories you probably have. He's not a bad figure at all. He's just, uh, he's just okay. I just, he's just okay. <laughs> but the new reveal today is, of course, Richard Ryder, the Nova Core. He, uh, they kind of teased him before, but we got a better look at him regardless. So this is the Richard Ryder figure, shoulder pads and all. And they won't be falling off. He comes with the floating Nova Corp helmet. Don't quote me. Help me out, someone, if you want to. I'm not familiar with that at all. And it comes for a little stand with it, a la a head pool. So that's cool. He comes with alternate hands. And no pre-order for this guy as of yet. But look for him in and around the spring. So around let's say April, May. They kind of said the May date, April, May. That's how these kind of typically go. Hopefully he'll go up on Walgreens at some point and then yeah, he will hit stores, but he looks all crisp and clean inside that packaging, right? And if you aren't in America, you can go to uh, EB Games in Canada to grab him as well. Second unveiling is Quasar and he's got quite the space cape, according to Dwight. He will be hitting in and around June, so right after Nova hits. So they're kind of like, you know, butted up against each other. So expect those at least by summer, we will just say to hit. And again, if you are in Canada and you're at EB Games, yeah, he'll be getting they'll be they'll be getting him as well. That's what I meant to say, of course. Moving away from Walgreens, apologies to those when I posted on Instagram. I assumed that this was all a cosmic kind of thing, but split. I must have dropped my coffee or spilled it on myself. Something like that. Split down the middle, moving away from Walgreens. We got our first look at the brand new Civil Warrior figure. Of course, he's got the Hydra Cap body on him. He's got a brand new shield. It's got the Art Reactor scuffing deco. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, this doesn't really do much for me. I can appreciate, yeah, that they did the... the the figure, it comes from, I, I guess, a different universe. This is one of those I'm going to have to look up. Not familiar, but I guess Tony Stark dies and Captain America implements his armor. Like I said, I got to look it up. But not not one that I'm like, oh, man. So that's thing. So look for this guy sometime in 2021 in either a wave or release or something to that degree. Not Walgreens. Next up is a... Interesting figure. I think a lot of people in the chat was like, wait a minute. But then as they kind of kept revealing stuff, you're like, oh, okay, all right. I see where you're going with that. This is the AI Tony Stark. Apparently, Tony Stark has, I don't know, he's died several times in the comics. Apparently, he's dead or de was dead recently. Now he's an AI construct. So he's kind of like a Star Wars hologram, basically in a suit. They did the whole deco on the face and everything else to kind of give it that interesting looking 
face and you notice he's got the yellow and red 80th anniversary iron man body which comes with an extra head so you can have more of the classic colors and i agree with dwight the gold was great it's a great figure to have but i do like the brighter reds and yellow i always think of brighter colors like spider-man bright reds and blues captain america the whole dark stuff it's fan it's fantastic when you want it but nothing screams like classic marvel like bright bright colors so again as with the Civil Warrior, this AI Tony Stark will be part of a wave or later release sometime in 2021. They didn't really reveal. It's just, hey, you know what? Go with it. Uh, they went over the Bring On the Bad Guys wave. They went over the Thanos figure that is starting to ship now as well. They went over the Maestro figure that pre-orders went up not too long ago. I think he's around summertime. And then Modoc, who should be shipping as well very, very soon. He looks great. And kind of an interesting thing with Modoc, <laughs> Ryan told a funny story, you know, whether it's true or not, we, we still don't know. <laughs> they took the technology from Mr. Potato Head and implemented it into the Modoc figure so you can store his hands and his extra faceplate in his butt. I feel like we've known this. I don't know. I, I feel like I know this, but then a lot of stuff's happened, but Dwight was nice enough. He kind of showed off how it works. So that, that was cool. Again, Modoc is coming up. They went over the Scientist Supreme again. So he is coming. We already knew about him. We didn't really get to see full renders of Dormammu. We kind of just said the outlying, you know, blueprints to him. So he looks cool. It's a very classic looking Dormammu, which I am stoked on. Almost Spider-Man the Animated Series. Kind of, I, I'll fudge it in there. It's it's cool, whatever. <laughs> and then, like Ryan had said, the arcade figure from Super Nintendo. Here's a fun fact. I may have said this in a prior video. I always thought that X-Men Arcade's Revenge or Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge was like there was a game in the arcade and this was the arcade's revenge bringing it to home console. Anybody else? No? I'm the only one? Okay, turns out this is the bad guy, Arcade. And he's a... Uh, He's a guy that does things. Um, <laughs> that's really where I know him from, from the video game. So, comes with an extra head sculpt, yada yada, bow tie. He looks great. I actually, I'm very excited about Dormammu, Arcade, and Scientist Supreme so far. They went over that we're going to be getting the Secret Wars Battle World Doom. There's extra pieces, new pieces here and there. He's got a new torso, gloves, cape, some new deco. He comes with the spine of Thanos, which is an amazing accessory. I got to give it to him all day for that. And the funny extra thing is that the skull is articulated in the mouth. So you can, you can rip out Thanos' spine any day of the week and have him be shocked that you did so. This was a funny thing. So they go, oh, this is the angry... The angry, the angry Marvel Legends fan. They go, oh, no, wait, no, that's the scalper. No, this is, of course, the Hood. Another character totally know about, but I'm not too familiar with. I know that he's, like, cosmically powered or, or magically powered. Something to that degree. But he's a cool... I mean, when you have him, when you see him, he's a guy with guns and a red cape. That It's really interesting. The greens, the blues, and the reds. I don't know why I find that a very interesting different looking figure it kind of looks like a guy just kind of got magic powers which kind of sounds like he is he imbues his guns with the norin stones and he's got cosmic bullets and i actually like that i like the effect pieces that go on the guns so bravo to that interesting looking character totally stoked on a brand new character figure i do not have and then of course we're also getting lady deathstrike this is actually pretty cool because i think back to X-Men the Animated Series, you know, that's really where I first heard about her, you know, Yoriko and Slice Noper, that alien machine, and she can go with your Reavers, and she looks fantastic, pretty much all new body mold on that, she, yeah, that's, that's a killer looking figure, and, you know, the old Toy Biz one's great, so this one looks like a nice upgrade, then they talked about previous Hasbro Red Skull figures, and then they said, well, they've never really done, like, a classic one. Now, to me, a classic one, you know, he was in that more, like, World War II Nazi uniform that Marvel Legends did way back when with the cap and all that, uh, the gun and everything. This is cool. This is a really cool-looking Red Skull. Now, this is classic. I do wish that they would have just given us that little bit more extra Jack Kirby-ness to him, but I'm not complaining. 
He looks great. He's got the green bodysuit, cosmic cube, comes with a blaster, and two head portraits. One of them is like, you know, the grinning, happy, sadistic looking Red Skull, and the other one's like, I didn't win today, did I, Captain America? And height wise, he's a little bit taller than the Cyclops body mold. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Now you're probably all wondering, wait a minute. Who is going to be the Build-A-Figure for this all-villains wave? Well, it's this guy, of course. <laughs> I think everyone went, hmm, yeah, that's okay. I'll go with it. This is Zemnu, and he's uh, a guy, and he's all white, and he does things. Totally going to look this up later. Maybe I'll do a Who in the Holy Heck video. It, he's got computer machinery in his palms. He's got a world wrestler's belt. Wild. Awesome. I don't I don't care. I'm going to look up who this is. I'm going to learn what he does and who he goes up against. And Totally cool with me. Totally outside the box. This is what I love about Marvel Legends. So, you sold. Great wave. This is a great wave. I think that's nice updates to figures we already have gotten in the past. And then adding a whole lot extra that we've never gotten before. So, well done, I think, on the Villains Wave, <laughs> Civil Warrior, and the iCat, Tony, and... Yeah, whatever, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. But uh, yeah, look for these. Pre-orders will go up later today, depending on when you see this video. I will have links up, yada, yada. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. Really nice packaging. You got this like sadistic, slimy green for the super villains wave. That's what they're calling it. And you got the Zem new build of figures. So you got seven figures in total. And overall, yeah, that looks fantastic. And they did say that, you know what? Listen, th this is just the tip of the iceberg for Marvel Legends. So get ready. Other than that, expect a lot. They did do a teaser. Here you go. You can comment below and tell me what you think this is. A lot of people speculate like Conan or something as Guardian. I don't know. You tell me. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to Marvel Legends, just sit back, relax, and let them just throw them out. Just, they're, they're, they're just going to keep coming in the stores, and you're going to have tons of them by the end of 2021. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.